And the gates open, they're off the mares, missed the start by four lengths. And a sensation, Winks is last and Ecuador's going to lead comfortably. Fox play in the front from Ecuador, Winks is down the outside, it's going to get desperate. Winks is going to Fox play, Winks dives, yes, she got up. Tell us the story of Ecuador. He was with Gay, Gay Waterhouse for seven years and Adrian Bott, so coming off the track I found him through Team Thoroughbred, the Equine Welfare Division of Racing New South Wales, and it was just a perfect match from the get-go. I couldn't have asked for a, a better horse, and um, they really took, took care of him and retrained him to, to the best of their ability, and lo and behold, I've had him for the, for the past seven months now. Tell us a bit more about uh, you, you know, your interaction with the Team Thoroughbred program. Yeah, well, I'm so lucky to have come across them as one of my friends bought through them. And when I found them and, you know, found an abundance of off-track thoroughbreds, I was so certain that that's where I wanted my, my next horse to come from. And um, they've got amazing retrainers that get them prepared and get them worked under saddle really nicely in, in order to, to be rehomed. What the girls do out there, it's just absolutely incredible and I'm so blessed to have come across them. How did the whole acquiring of, of this big guy work? As he comes and nods, he likes the camera, doesn't he? He loves the camera. <laughs> well, look, as we all know, uh, um, trying to find a horse is never the easiest of processes, but Team Thoroughbred made it so wonderful for me to find my best friend. I trialled a few up at Bar Cummings Farm, up at Castle Ray. Uh, they weren't quite what I was looking for, but, you know, we went back to the drawing board and we went back to what I wanted in a horse, what I wanted to achieve, and they had the perfect one, and he was up at Port Macquarie, and... That was this guy and um, made the trip out and the rest was history. Between them, Ecuador, down the outside, off the rails and Snippets land, but Ecuador rests the lead now. And Ecuador went past Snoopy to win it. It is wonderful to see racehorses and the lives that they're living now. This guy is, uh, well, he turns 11 later this year and he was quite a racehorse. That's the, the beauty of these thoroughbreds. There's so much more to them besides racing. You know, they make exceptional racehorses, but once they're off the track, my goodness, they make you know, amazing show horses, amazing companions, and there is so much variety to them. And that's what I'm trying to show, you know, all the young girls out there that you can take one off the track, you can learn to retrain um, and give it the best life that you can um, well and truly after it's raced. So how does this guy go? Does he jump well? Does he behave? Coming off the track, all they know is to race and race well. Uh, that's where we step in and we educate them and give them the best environment to learn that we possibly can and um, he definitely jumps he is sure has sure taken to it quite well uh, we're still learning we're still working from the ground up so that's from dressage to um, you know and then you, you go into cross country and um, eventing and show jumping and whatnot but um, he makes my job so much easier and he's just such a, a willing horse coming in for a little peck there. They're, they're, they're such beautiful, aren't they? They're such beautiful animals. They're very affectionate, yeah, and they're so therapeutic, so I'm very, very blessed to, to be in this sport, this community, and, and to have him, of course. Particularly at a tough time like this, as the world sort of facing a challenge like it's never seen before, this kind of R&R &R and, you know, switching their head off. Totally, I am, again, so lucky to, to own him and to be able to come out here and ride and just get back to my roots and this is my safe haven, this is my happy place so I am truly, truly blessed with that. I feel like you learn so much about yourself with them. They truly are a mirror to your soul and whatever you give you get back and you know they're just such wonderful animals I, I couldn't even, I can't even put into words. Yeah, it's uh, Johnny Tapp, the, the famous caller, um, has said that uh, it's amazing what the outside of a horse can do the inside of a human being and it's one of the great lines it's one of the absolutely wonderful lines and this guy in particular he came behind winks in a race he's related to tiako shark yeah so his mum is the half sister of tiako shark so a great bloodlines his dad was high chaparral it's just it's in his blood it's in his blood he looks like he loves his new home he looks like he's, he's living a very very happy life ecuador yeah, totally different from the one that he had before, but I mean, it's I will do anything I can to make this guy happy because he brings me so much joy, so, yeah. <laughs> you got something to say? <laughs> I think he's just said he's loving it. It just gets better each and every time. I'm so, so lucky, and yeah, to have this as a backdrop, my goodness, magical. It's just so wonderful to see them give thoroughbreds a life after racing and a, a wonderful one at that.